So in order to complete this kit, you will require 50 white straw hat LEDs. These are 5 millimeters. So you will need 50 of these. You will need two 16 megahertz crystals. They look like this. You will need three 22 pico fired capacitors. These have to be 16 volts or higher. You will need four 22 microfarad capacitors. These are the electrolytic type. And these are rated for uh, these are rated for 16 volts. So you should get 16 volt or higher rated capacitors. You will need four 0.1 microfarad ceramic capacitors. These are also 16 volt. You will need 100 7 millimeter by 5 millimeter by 2 millimeter uh, rectangular LEDs. Um, you will need 100 of these. So once again, these are uh, 2 millimeter by uh, 5 millimeter by 7 millimeter. You will need roughly 20 470 ohm resistors. Uh, these don't have to be 470 ohms, they could be between 330 ohms up to 1k ohms. But remember, the smaller the value of the resistance, the brighter the LEDs will be. So you will need 20 of these, and these can either be a quarter watt, which they look like this, or eighth of a watt, which are slightly smaller than this. It doesn't matter which one you choose. You will need about 4 feet of 50 conductor flat ribbon cable. This is 28 gauge, so you'll need about 4 feet of this stuff. You'll need 5 47k ohm resistors. Again, these can be either uh, 1 8 of a watt or a quarter watt, but I have an eighth of a watt in my hand. You also need 3 MAX7219 chips. Uh, make sure to get the ones that aren't surface mount, they're through hole, so just make sure they're kind of like this. And then you will need two red 5mm LEDs. You will also need two green 5mm LEDs. They don't have to be, the, the LEDs don't have to be clear. You could get the uh, diffuse type, it doesn't really matter. For the tools, you will need a soldering iron. Uh, preferably a 30 watt or above. You'll need a hot glue gun and you'll need some wire cutters.